I never want to see another bloody lock again. Well, we've got a bit of a day of it today. We've got 23 locks to do. We're now at the top of the Wigan flight, now that it's reopened. It opened yesterday. I think quite a few boats went down and we decided we'd avoid the rush, let the madness die down and go today. But I think quite a few people had the same idea. There's still quite a lot of boats going down. There's nine of us, I think, queuing up to go down. Uh, but we had a bit of a worrying bit of news <laughs> last night, Fran told me this morning when I woke up. Yeah, Richard actually gone to bed early to get a good night's sleep and then a notification came up that although the flight only opened yesterday morning, um, halfway down there is a lock with a sill. The concrete bit at the bottom of the lock that holds the water in is leaking really badly. The water's flooding in. So the flight is still open. Initially, my heart sank. Wow. I thought we'd got all this way and now we can't go. It is still open, but they're monitoring it. And I have a feeling that no, today- No, don't say nothing. <laughs> anyway, we've got to get down quickly. We're going down, come what may. <laughs> We're just hanging around now, waiting for a friend, David Bramley uh, from Narrowboat Snow Goose. You'll know him as Boating David on Instagram and Twitter. I hope he brings his superhero cape with him. Yeah, uh, he's <laughs> helping a friend of his go down the lock, so we're buddying up together. Uh, and interestingly, this is his friend's first locks ever. <laughs> so, 21 <laughs> plus 2. <laughs> what were we thinking? <laughs> But it's going to be fine. It's, I think they're quite difficult locks. There's an instruction sheet that's been issued on Facebook about some of them that leak and the bio washes look horrendous. You're supposed to open a lock ahead of you to let the water go down to avoid bio washes and flooding. So it's quite stressful, yeah, isn't it? it is. Anyway, let's go. Let's do something. Here comes David and his friend Liam aboard Liam's boat Prince Caspian. And let's not forget folks, this is Liam's first ever luck. It's a bit of a slow progress at the moment. There's two solo boaters ahead of us. So I'm having to close the locks for them uh, and then fill the lock, but it's not a problem. They're on their own. Uh, good old Lucky's turned up to give us a hand. So that's going to get us through quicker with a bit of luck. So yeah, lock number three. So after all this time, this is the luck we've been waiting to get through.
of us going down. I've never seen the like. Onwards and downwards. Well, this is about halfway. We're waiting for two boats to come up in the lock in front. And uh, I've had enough now. So this is the lock that gave me a sleepless night last night. Um, this is the one that's leaking badly. But once we're through this one, hopefully we can breathe a big sigh of relief. Just these two locks to do now, this one and the next one, and that is it for the Wigan flight. We've just got the next two after the junction, and then we're done. And we've picked up momentum somewhat since the lock keepers were helping the uh, two sailor boaters ahead, so we haven't had to hang around for too much. And there she is, the last lock of the Wigan flight. The lockies are looking a little bit weary, I've got to say, but they've done a grand job. So we get through this lock, we've got two more, but our, um, our companions are departing, they go the other way. approaching the last of the Wigan locks. David Bramley has been brilliant. Thank you so much to him for helping us through. It's been quite a good journey. It's only two o'clock, 21 locks done. Our co-boater Liam has been fantastic on his maiden voyage. And David Bramley, where's your superhero cape? <laughs> it's been a star. So thank you guys, and it's been brilliant. Well, as we go our separate ways, it's been emotional. <laughs> So that's 23 locks done, Fran, in about five hours, was that? Yeah, I think less than that, actually. We did really well. How'd you feel? Haggard. <laughs> not saying nothing. It's, <laughs> it's such a long time since we've done a long trip like that, and I don't know, the last time that we did 23 locks in a day. Oh, it's, it's been a long time. Know, Double but, locks. You know, we had good help, and there were some volunteers on, and apart from a few slow boaters ahead that really held us up quite a bit it was um, all went yeah, it's fine. well yeah. yeah entertained by david and liam <laughs> but uh, i never want to see another bloody luck again <laughs> and we've now got how many 55 lovely miles luck free in three days four or days. four days <laughs> So we're looking to find somewhere to moor up pretty quickly. We know we've got a guaranteed safe mooring about four miles ahead, but there's a swing bridge in between us and them. So if we find somewhere beforehand, I think we're just going to call it we a are. day 
and kick off our shoes. The doggies are exhausted as well because they don't sleep when we move, do they? No. Just. You can't go through this lift bridge uh, between four and six because it's closed during the rush hour. So it's dark at six o'clock. So we're just going to pull in when we can and uh, put our feet up. Yeah. It's, it's great though, we're free. You know, we're past, well, no, I'm not going to say that because we've got to get through Middlewich yet before Monday. Oh, it'll be all right. But, um, yeah. We've got four big cruising days now. We've got 55 miles to do in four days. I know it doesn't sound a lot, guys, but when you're doing three miles an hour, it's, uh, it's quite a long day. But anyway, onwards and upwards. And forwards. And forwards, <laughs> not backwards. Bites the dust, friend. Well, we had a blooming good night's sleep last night. We pulled up in just before it was getting dark. And uh, it's a bit of a dodgy edging to this towpath. It's awful. It, it's falling away. There's holes that Jess could fit right the way through into the canal if she fell, and it's slippery. But we just needed to stop. We'd had enough, hadn't we? And it was getting dark. It was. So we just stopped, and we've been fine. We moored up behind Narrowboat Josh, I think it yes, is, and yes. that's Sue and Elliot from Narrow Escape YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked them out, please do. But, uh, it's on the bottom of the screen here. Uh, lovely couple, had a nice little chat with them, but they're heading back up the Wigan flight. <laughs> They've already done it twice, <laughs> so they must love the challenge, I think. But <laughs> yeah, they, they want to go on the curly whirlies for winter, don't they? Yeah, so I don't blame yeah. them, it's beautiful up there. But they've got the stress that we had yesterday that they've got to get through before the lock breaks completely. Yeah. So good luck to them, I'm sure they'll be fine. There's a lift bridge ahead of us that we can't get through till 9.30. 9.30, so. About half an hour, I think. We're taking this opportunity to go and have a quick walk around Pennington Flash, which is a lake caused by mining subsidence. And there's plenty of them around here, apparently. So that's what we're gonna do. It would actually be a lovely place to spend some time, but we yeah, haven't got it. I know. Um, so Archie is really keen to go and explore, because yeah. I think he's heard ducks. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go and have a look. Well, wouldn't you just know it, the bridge there that we have to go through it has broken down. There are Canal and River Trust personnel there as we speak, trying to fix it. But uh, it's just Sod's Law, we're on a schedule, tight schedule, and we don't need this. Fingers crossed. Well, fortunately, it didn't take them long to fix the bridge. We only had to wait five minutes. 
so we got through pretty speedy and uh, now we're motoring along we've done about four or five miles today and uh, taking it in turns at the helm Fran's gone inside do a bit of clearing up and uh, make a cuppa then we'll both enjoy our coffee and then uh, I'll go inside and do a few bits and bobs that I need to do and uh, these long days we're not used to anymore we used to do it when we first picked up Constanza we used to be cruising every day for three or four hours minimum but uh, not anymore <laughs> so anyway it's good good fun we're enjoying it and uh, it's getting a bit cool but the autumn colors are making up for it it's a beautiful beautiful day they said it was going to rain all day but we haven't had any yet so uh, the weather gods are looking down on us and the poor sods down south are being battered by storm kieran which is uh, the latest storm to hit the coasts of this country so uh, hopefully everybody down there is doing okay including Fran's son who's in uh, Cornwall but all still up here thankfully and uh, we better get cranking it again Yesterday, coming down Wigan Flight Locks, we descended over 200 feet and now suddenly the landscape is really flat. We've come from lovely hills and valleys up in Lancashire and now you can just about see them in the distance over there. We're on a flat landscape and shortly we'll be leaving Lancashire and getting into Greater Manchester and then we'll be in Cheshire tomorrow. There's some poor horses there having to walk knee deep in some mud to get their hay. Back in town, Fran. <laughs> All the Philomelia sights and smells and zones. What did you just say? I really like being back in town. Yeah, I do. I love being in town. There's a, a lovely smell in the air of um, burning sugar or cooking sugar. There's obviously a cake factory there as well. Mm. Oh, look, Bridgewater Canal. <laughs> 